Hello guys, this is Mike from mcprogramming.org. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a cool way to get a simple circle effect on an image. And I'm sure you've seen this on websites everywhere. Um, this is going to be our finished product right here. It's going to be a picture of me um, playing hockey for my college, and it has a circle effect. And obviously when you took the picture, that's not what it looks like. It's a square for the most part. So let's go back to our uh, Sublime Text or whatever IDE you're using or text editor you're using to write up your code. So in this structure right now, my file structure, I have an images folder that has my file, my image file, and it's quite large at the moment. So we'll fix that with our CSS. And in the styles folder, I have my CSS file. Nothing in it right now. And then I have the index.html, and I'm linking to the main.css file. And that is a style sheet, so that is going to style up our website. So inside the body tag, I'm going to make a quick image tag, and I'm using something called Emmet that I'll make a video about in the future. But it allows you to write your markup very fast. But I only suggest that for somebody that already knows what tags mean and have a good feel for HTML because I want you to learn HTML from the ground up and have a good understanding before you start getting into any type of tools. So right now I have an image tag with a source attribute and in the source attribute I'm gonna write the path to my image. So it's under images folder slash Mike vcu.jpg. So I'm gonna save that and go back here and refresh and right now it's showing the image as is and it's huge so let's go back to our file and we're gonna go into main.css and actually I'm gonna give this a class so I can mess with it because if I just styled images or the image tag like this and put in some styles if I end up adding more images later on then that means that this these styles will apply to every image. So for now, just to be safe, I'm going to add a class and I will call this uh, circle image. And that way we can target this exact image. So what we can do now is we can say circle image. And when we do these circular, circular images, what we're going to do is we're going to give it a border radius and what that does is it rounds the corners of the image and so to do the circular effect the best way I can tell you how to do this is to have a picture that is a perfect square or else it's going to come out looking egg shaped so what we're going to want to do is first I want to get the picture down to a good size so I'm going to say width uh, let's give it 250 pixels and I'm going to give it a height also of 250 pixels. Save that and let's go and see how it looks. So now it's down to a size that we can deal with. Go back to our editor and a border radius, like I said, rounds the corners off. So what we can do to get that perfect size, well first let me just show you if I do 50 pixels what that will do so from about 50 pixels down it will start rounding that corner and right now that's obviously not a perfect circle that's almost gives it that uh, like an iOS app icon so let's go back and to get a full circle we want to have half of this so it would be 175 pixels save that and it should work and it does but that's not good practice so the best thing we can do instead of messing with pixels is give it a percentage because if the pixels ever seem to change for whatever reason 50 percent is always going to be 50 percent so that's the best way to do it and let's save and do that and it's the same thing so now we have a nice circular image thank you guys for watching i plan on making plenty more web development tutorials, and any other maybe suggested tutorials you guys have, follow me on Twitter, at Mick Programming, 
and visit my website, www.mcprogramming.org. Even though that was made before I knew much about web development, so I'm going to redo that site very shortly, and it will be much prettier looking and have a lot more content coming up. So thank you guys for watching.